Hello everyone, in this video, we'll learn how to create a multi-step form and a consolidated report. A consolidated report is a report that displays the data from all the forms in a single view. This can be useful when you need to collect data from different forms and want to see all the data in a single report. In this demonstration, we'll create a multi-step student registration form and a consolidated report. The screen you see now is a sample app with three forms for student registration. We have the first form to collect the basic information of the students, the second form to collect the details of the student's parent slash guardian, and the third form to collect the previous institution details of the student. We must relate the three forms so the data from these forms can be fetched and displayed in the final form. The relationship can be established by adding the fields from Form 1 as lookup in Form 2 and the fields from Form 1 and Form 2 as a lookup in Form 3. In this case, let's add the email field as a lookup from the Add Student form to the Parent slash Guardian Details form. To do that, access the form builder from the editor. Choose the Lookup field option from the Advanced section. Select the Add Student form and choose the Email field. Click Done. Let's name the lookup field student email and make it visible only to the admin, as the purpose is to create a relationship. Next, let's add the email field from the add student form and the mobile field from the parent slash guardian details form as lookup fields on the previous institution details form. To do that, select the previous institution details form. Choose the lookup field option from the advanced section. Select the add student form and choose the email field. Click done and name the lookup field student email too. Add another lookup field by selecting the parent slash guardian details form and choosing the mobile field. Click done and name the lookup field parent mobile. Let's make these lookup fields visible only to the admin. Now that the fields of the three forms are connected, we need to push the data entered on the first form to the second form and the data entered on the first and second forms to the third form. To do this, we need to auto-populate the lookup fields with the data entered by the user in the previous form. Only then will the creator know that the data entered on all the forms was entered by a single user. If we don't do this, the data entered on these forms will be stored in their corresponding records, and we won't be able to establish a connection. As we are creating a multi-step form, we also need to ensure that the user is automatically taken to the next form once the current form is submitted. In our case, once the user submits the add student form, they should be redirected to the parent slash guardian details form. And once that form is submitted, the user should be redirected to the final form, which is the previous institution details form. We need to create two workflows to achieve the following. When the add student form is submitted, the user should be redirected to the next form, and the data entered in the email field should be populated in the lookup field student email on the next form. When the parent slash guardian details form is submitted, the user should be redirected to the final form and the data entered in the add student form's email field and the mobile number entered in the current form should be auto-populated in the corresponding lookup fields in the final form, which is the previous institution details form. Let's create a workflow to perform the first requirement now. Create a workflow to run on a form event. Choose the form on which we want to run the workflow. In our case, it's the add student form choose the workflow to run when a record is created. The workflow should be triggered when the form is submitted. We choose this option as we want the workflow to run whenever a user submits the form. Give a name and proceed to create the workflow. Click on Add New Action and choose Deluge Script. The Deluge Script Builder will open. The logic is to redirect the user to the parent slash guardian details form and auto-populate the lookup fields with the email entered on the Add Student form. To do that, Let's use the open URL task. Type hash form, parent guardian details. Student email equals input, ID, same window. We type the link name of the form to which the user should be redirected, which in our case is the parent slash guardian details form. Next, when we type input, ID, creator fetches the associated field value from the record ID and auto populates it on the student email field. Lastly, we specify the window type to open in the same window as we want the user to be redirected to the next form within the same window. Save the code and click Done. Now let's move on to the final requirement. When the parent slash guardian details form is submitted, the user should be redirected to the final form, which is the previous institution details form. In this case, click on Create New Workflow. Choose the workflow to run when a record is created. This workflow should also be triggered when the form is submitted. Give a name and proceed to create the workflow. 
Click on Add New Action and choose Deluge Script. The Deluge Script Builder will open. Let's again use the Open URL task. Type hash form previous institution details, parent mobile equals, input, ID, and student email to equals, input. Student email, same window. We've specified to redirect the user to the previous institution details form. We populate the parent mobile field with the ID of the current record. When we type input, ID, Creator fetches the associated field value from the record ID and auto-populates it on the current mobile field. Next, we populate the student email to field with the value stored in the student email field. Lastly, we specify the window type to open in the same window. Click Save. Now that we've created the necessary workflows, let's add the required fields from the first two forms which have to be displayed on the report of the third form. To do that, go to the editor, choose the All Previous Institution Details Report, and click on Configure Fields for Web. Now, once you click on the Add Fields button, the fields of the Add Student form and the Parent slash Guardian Details form are displayed. Let's choose the Name and Age fields from the Add Student form and the Email field from the Parent slash Guardian Details form. Now, let's see how this application works in real time. As you can see, once the Add Student form is submitted, Creator automatically redirects us to the next form, and the email ID entered on the previous form gets auto-populated on the student email lookup field. Similarly, when we submit the parent slash guardian details form, we are redirected to the next form where the lookup field student email to and the parent mobile are auto-populated with the values entered on the previous forms. Thus, the connection is established. Now, when we view the report of the final form, all the related fields are displayed, and therefore a multi-step consolidated report is created. That's all for this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zovo Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.